Welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome back to the channel here today, guys, for a full Barca News Roundup. And it is a big one because we are going to be talking about the massive decision that has been made by Mattia Almani. He is staying at the club. He's not leaving. He is staying. We're going to be talking all about that U-turn, but not just that either, because we've got some big transfer rumours that we've got to discuss today in some detail involving Kimmich and Neymar. It's all on the way. Sit back, relax, get comfortable, because this one, it should be good. Let's do it. Because today's video comes to you courtesy of So Rare, because it is time right now to check in on Liga Talk FCB after the weekend's action in La Liga. Because, well, when it comes to my own performance, guys, I'm not going to hide it. It was a nightmare. It was an absolute calamity there. This team put me in 413th place at the weekend. Because apart from our Barca players, who unfortunately didn't keep a clean sheet, that would have given us a great score there for Ter Stegen and Kunde. But what were the rest of my team doing? I mean, was there even any point in turning up there? But I want to show you as well the team that was top of the leaderboard at the weekend. Look at this for a team here right across the board. Phenomenal scores. Great effort there to finish the weekend in first. Now, overall in the league, I'm still 85th overall. Here are the league leaders and a huge well done. If your name appears there, you are doing an incredible job. A top club is going to sign you up for a coaching role any day now, but... Let's go again this weekend, guys. And if you would like to get involved in Liga Talk FCB, it's free to play, very, very easy to get involved. Go ahead and follow the link in the description down below. And you've also got plenty of days now to research your team, to pick your team ahead of Friday's deadline in La Liga. Go ahead and do that now and join in with the fun here. But OK, let's get on to the big news. And I'm talking about a massive, massive twist in Mattia Almani's situation, because incredibly now, he's not leaving the club. He has decided, after all, to stay. He has a contract, let's not forget, until 2024, but Almani will stay at Barca. And I just think that's incredible. Already, guys, just with that decision alone, I feel better about the summer. Whatever is to come, you know, the transfer window, it's chaos. It's crazy, you know, especially at Barca with all the restrictions, all the things like that. It's a massive, massive deal. But I feel much more comfortable with him at the helm, knowing that he's there. Whatever comes our way, I have full faith and trust in Almani to get us through it. So him staying at the club is huge. But I am interested to know what happened. You know, what caused this U-turn in his future? One minute, he's leaving. One year before the end of his deal, looked like he was going to go to Aston Villa. The project came to an end with him at Barca. And now, he wants to see it through. Now, I wonder, does this have anything to do with Jordi Cruyff? Because you've got to say, guys, the timing is convenient. Just one day after Jordi Cruyff has said, look... I'm leaving in the summer. I'm going as well. The sporting director at the club, he's departing. But now, Almani is staying. So it's very convenient there. The time frame of those two big situations. But I think the question also will be now, what happens with Deco? Because he was spotted, interestingly, at the club this morning. He had a meeting with the club and apparently he actually met with Almani. Now, Fabrizio Romano says that Deco is still going to come. It is very close to being announced and Deco will become a new director at Barca. It's still happening. And what is interesting now is that it appears like it's going to be Almani and Deco working together. That's going to be our sports management team this summer. And I think that's really exciting. I think that has a whole new look to it now with Almani supporting Deco, you know, helping him through that initial transition period and ultimately Deco being able to learn from Almani. That is such a different situation to just being thrown in at the deep end, like it looked like he was going to, coming in without experience. But to have Almani now with him in the same team there, working together, that's an exciting partnership. And suddenly ahead of the summer, things behind the scenes at Barca look completely different with Almani staying at the helm and in control. It's phenomenal news. It is great news ahead of 
a massive transfer window. Because one of the big decisions that is going to need to be made this summer and one of the situations that needs solving, it is indeed Jordi Alba. Because again, there have been more meetings taking place. Just yesterday afternoon, there was another meeting there between Jordi Alba's agent and Barca. Again, that has been happening quite frequently recently. And this one lasted a long time there, over three hours long, that meeting. And it was believed there, and it has been widely reported, that the feeling was from Alba's side... I want to stay. He is making that clear right now. He would like to remain at the club beyond the summer. Now, again, in that meeting, apparently, the club expressed that they would be happy for Albert to stay at the club. They would accept that. And certainly, he'd have a role to play within the squad, as we've seen from him this season. He's been a bit more of a leader, somebody there to influence and just help out Balde into that transition at the left-back role. But, according to the ever-reliable Gerard Romero, he has said there that in that meeting, a few conditions were put forward by Barca because he says right now the club have proposed a 60% pay cut for Jordi Alba, along with the fact that his salary would be deferred for two years there. His contract expires right now in 2024, and it's said that at the moment no answer has been given from Alba's side in that meeting there about that proposal from Barca, whether or not he would or wouldn't accept that. But according to Elena Condes, who again is usually a reliable source, she says... Alba is willing to help the club. That is the feeling right now. That may be why some of these meetings are taking place. He is willing to help the club. The question will be, to what degree? You know, is he going to accept the terms that Barca propose? Is he going to come back with a revised offer? Something like that. But Alba apparently is willing to help the club. He wants to stay here. And let's wait and see if something now between the two parties can be agreed. However, there are more rumours that we simply must discuss, because I want to talk now about Kimmich. Because we spoke the other day, guys, on the channel, we did hear about how to replace Sergio Busquets, the rather impossible task of replacing somebody like Busquets. And I mean, when talking about dream signings, dream scenarios, Kimmich to Barca, it has to be right up there, doesn't it? He would be, for me, an absolute dream signing, and I'm sure that Xavi would feel the same way. And it was interesting that on Tuesday, Fernand Martinez there, a journalist from Mundo Deportivo said, Barca have a big interest in signing Kimmich. He is apparently thinking of leaving Bayern and Xavi is a huge fan of the player. Barca are going to really try and convince him. Now, off the back of that rumour, everybody naturally was like, wow, Kimmich, could we do it? I mean, can we really start the dream? And for a few hours, maybe we were dreaming. But inevitably, there has been a reaction from the German media this morning. Sport Build there and several other sources saying, ultimately, Bayern won't sell. They are not looking to sell. There's no intention there. Not even a bid, apparently, of 100 million euros, which Barca don't really have anyway, would not convince them to sell this summer. So Bayern won't even entertain an offer for Kimmich. And I believe that. Because let's not forget, guys, how difficult it was for us negotiating for Robert Lewandowski. That alone was hard enough. You know, dealing with buy-in, back and forth with offers, it was an absolute nightmare. And the relationship off the back of that between the two clubs is not really good at all. However, the reason that I bring this up and the reason why I'm not just brushing this off here as just another rumour that we can just put to bed immediately is because Kimmich's contract expires in 2025, which I'm not saying is soon, you know, it's not tomorrow, but it's also not a million miles away in football terms right now, and I just wonder here, if he genuinely doesn't really want to stay at Bayern, if he is starting to look elsewhere, if he's starting to think about his options, I do wonder if he doesn't renew in the next year... What's going to happen next summer? You're in 2024 then. If his deal is about to end to the final year and he doesn't want to renew, what will Bayern do then? That would be a really interesting scenario for me because with Kimmich, we know that he does admire Barca. We've seen over the years and certainly going back there at the start of his career, there's posts on social media. He does like Barca and he's a huge fan, an absolute massive fan of Xavi. It's one of his idols growing up in the game. And I do wonder, if he doesn't renew, and it is still a long shot, it is still a dream scenario, but let's keep an eye on Kimmich. Let's keep an eye on his contract movements over these next 12 months. And then, from Kimmich... We go to Neymar. Now, these are interesting names today, aren't they? It's been an interesting roundup, you have to say that. But on Tuesday as well, there was another big report in the Catalan media from Tony Juan Marti, who we've heard a lot from ahead of this summer. He says Neymar 
wants to return to Barca. He actively wants to come back. He really, really does. And you know what? I believe that. I think everything that we have seen of late from Neymar, it points towards the fact that he's desperate again to return to Barca. Because just look at Sunday there. He was actually back in Barcelona again. He arrived into the airport just after we'd beaten Espanyol. And on that very night there, when Barca players were celebrating the title... He was with them. You know, he was with a lot of the first team squad there, enjoying the emotion, feeling very close to the group. And I just think right now, Neymar is desperately trying to see, is there a way back in? Is there a window for me here to return to Barca? He's really hoping there is, but I just don't think it's possible right now. I think from within the club, you know, ironically, because of Messi's potential return, it's probably not on the cards for his very good friend there. The man, of course, who Neymar was alongside, who was enjoying playing with at Barca. So it was all set up so perfectly for him. Then he left the PSG. Then he made that decision to shred that duo and go ahead and leave. But that is why I truly believe here that Neymar right now would jump at any chance to come back to Barca. Apparently, he also, just like Messi, misses the city of Barcelona. It really gets under people's skin, this city. It's a very, very special place. And I think Neymar would come back on a lower salary. And I believe he'd get his head down. He'd be disciplined. He'd try and work for the team because he is really really, really wanting to return, but I just still don't think that it could happen, even with that will of the player, even with PSG being desperate to let him go, I just think Barca right now, they are solely focused on Messi, he is our priority, he is the big signing, and like I said before, it's been hard enough for us trying to get that deal done, trying to keep that deal within the FFP guidelines that we have this summer, and I think unless Messi, for whatever reason, couldn't come back, if there was complications with that deal, only then maybe a big outside chance for Neymar, maybe then it would arise. But the thing is, though, if we can't get Messi, if there's complications with that deal, that would probably mean, too, we couldn't get Neymar. So I just don't think here, even despite his desire to return, it looks unlikely. And it almost feels like for Neymar, that ship has sailed. You had your chance. You had that opportunity. And like I've said many, many times before, it still frustrates me. It still annoys me. And it's still a massive shame. You threw it all away. But that there, guys, is indeed a full Barca news roundup. And what a big one it was today. What a range of topics that we have had there. Big surprise to me that Mattia Almani news could be absolutely massive for the club. Please do let me know your thoughts on that. Also there, Jordi Alba, Kimmich, and indeed Neymar. Lots discussed and lots covered. Thank you indeed for tuning in here today. Big thank you as well for So Rare for getting involved in today's video. And for all of you guys who are in... Liga Talk FCB really, really appreciate that. I will see you soon with more videos to come. But until next time, as always, Vizca El Barca. Uh -huh.